I want to thank the Aizwal group for getting out in song service this morning. And uh, we pray that the, it will shed the light of the gospel in all our faces. I want to once again welcome all of you who have joined for this uh, morning session for our first Amen virtual conference, the second annual conference of the Amen India. And we are very happy this morning that we have uh, Pastor Ezra Slucker, our, uh, our uh, division president, to have the inaugural address. Uh, before I introduce uh, him, I would request uh, call uh, Mr. Anil, Dr. Anil, uh, to lead us in the prayer, please. Dr. Anil, are you there? Dr. Anil C.H. Sir, yes, sir, I'm there, sir. Please, uh, have opening prayer. Let's pray. A gracious, kind, loving, and living Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for being with us for the past night and for giving us this day. We thank you, Lord, for providing us the privilege of being on this conference where we could enlighten ourselves and where we could allow our minds to be instilled through the Holy Spirit to, for the importance of medical evangelism. Gracious God, we commit this program into the care and keeping. We commit every participant into the care and leading. We especially want to pray for our beloved president, Pastor Lakra, as he breaks the bread of life today to each one of us. May we all be receptive to the message that is going to be given to each one of us. We especially want to thank you, Lord, for being with the organizers, Dr. Narendra Rao, Dr. Austin, and the host of others. We especially <laughs> want to thank you for all the wonderful things you have been doing to this church. Heavenly Father, as we all gather here and as we work on the scriptures, May you enlighten our minds and may we come a step closer to thee. Bless us, Lord, throughout this event and we commit this event into the care and keeping. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Anil. Uh, so, uh, before Pastor uh, Lakras uh, uh, gives us the inaugural address, I want to introduce him to us. He is well known to most of us, but yet for those who have joined and new or do not know him much, Pastor Esdras Lakras is the president of the Southern Asia Division of Southern Adventists based at Hosu. He's been in this post for the last uh, more than five years now. Before that, he was the president of the Northern India Union of the Southern Adventists. And before that, secretary of the same union. And before that, he was the education director, associate, associate education director in the division Hosu. He has lo lots of experience as administrator, as a pastor and evangelist, and also as a school principal and educational person. So we are very happy that he could be here and inaugurate our conference. Um, and I know the Lord has a special work for us. And I know Pastor uh, Lakra personally, because he is a man of God. And in my personal interactions, I've seen that he is a man who loves God, wants to serve him. So I want him to now give us the inaugural address and then we will proceed up from there. Dr. Uh, Pastor, let us, the time is yours now. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Narendra Rao, for uh, the opportunity, uh, the time that has given to me for a, a inaugural address to AMEN, the Adventist Medical Evangelism Network. And uh, is. Uh, it's nice to see all of you, and uh, I could see your faces, and some of you, of course, I don't see, but I would say uh, all of you, uh, about uh, 30 of you have joined. Uh, this is my privilege uh, to address to you. It's the first time. I know as Dr. Narendra Rao said, there's a second AMEN program that you have, and uh, I am so encouraged to have uh, this, uh, the AMEN community, uh, you are all there and to start this chapter here in Southern Asia Division. I do appreciate Dr. Narendra Rao and all the associates and all of you. You are bringing all the medical professionals uh, together uh, to learn and to share and to get encouragement of what they're doing, sharing the experiences and the stories, uh, witnessing and so on. Uh, I, it is very nice that uh, the, the medical professionals, you could be together. 
and to have uh, you develop the relationship, uh, sharing and uh, uh, learning from each other and the experience. I could see the program that you have set for three days, uh, today, uh, Saturday and uh, the Sunday. A uh, very good program you have. You, the main topic what you have selected is finishing his work. And it's very important the, in the medical ministry, those who are here, uh, I, I congratulate, I commend, I salute you uh, for doing uh, this, uh, the medical work you have. And God has uh, appointed you and called you uh, for this. In our church, we have uh, uh, the preaching ministry, the teaching ministry, medical ministry. You, we have uh, all these uh, God has given in our church to learn from him and the gift that he gives to all of us. We are in a different professions, but of course, you are all in the medical professions. Uh, and I really congratulate you, the way you are uh, there working uh, all day and night, uh, 24 hours rather. So I do appreciate it. Uh, thank you, those uh, ladies uh, and one gent, of course. Uh, from, uh, from Ajol, you have a good uh, uh, the song and Miso song. I love that song and you have conducted uh, the song service. Uh, Though in the pandemic time, uh, we are not able to visit, uh, have gone to IJOL and, and seen, and uh, I have gone to most of the hospitals. I know there are people, the dentist, you are practicing, you have a private practice, whatever you have, but you are all in the Amen, uh, the community uh, you have. And I would not name all the hospitals, uh, but uh, what I would say, uh, we are together. I love those uh, medical professionals who have been really gifted and doing this work. And uh, we are happy that you have this program, sharing together, uh, finishing God's work. Uh, so I know what title has been selected is to finish the God's work. We are in the last days. And uh, as I, I was seeing the, the title, uh, the programs that you have, the preparation in uh, personal preparation, uh, preparation in the church, uh, the preparation in the family, uh, you have preparation for the world, uh, preparing. So it's a very important topic that what you have selected, uh, that uh, you become witness. You are working in last days, finishing the work. Is the medical ministry, which is so important when the preachers, uh, rather we cannot go, but uh, through the health ministry, you are able to do a mighty work. I am really encouraged to know that uh, you are all engaged. Early morning you have got up and uh, we, I really see the enthusiasm that you have for the work that you have been doing it. And God will continue to bless all of you. I have... You have a devotion from eight o'clock, but I, I will just a little bit, I will touch off uh, what we are for, why we are, and what God has called uh, all of us to be engaged in God's work. Uh, Luke 4, uh, 40, it says, now when the sun was setting, all they had uh, the sick uh, with the diverse uh, disease brought them unto him. And he laid the hands on every one of us, uh, every one of them, and healed them. That's the work of Jesus Christ. Now, you are doing God's work. You are working what Jesus has set an example when he was in this earth. We have different uh, 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 you know, responsibility. Uh, I would say you, you are doing, I would just connect uh, with this, what you have been doing. Uh, often, uh, ophthalmology, the opening of the eyes. Now, Jesus Christ, uh, he got this thing. He got power. When I read the particular chapter from the look, what all he did. ENT, curing the deaf, he did. Uh, Thermodolist. Uh, uh, you have the healing of leprosy. Rehabilitation, curing paralysis. Hand surgery, healing of withered hand. 
the plastic and reconstruction, repairing of a severed ear, neurology, treating of a boy with the convulsion, the critical care, saving a slave of a centurion uh, who was about to die. Now you are all connected, you are all specialist and I know you have been really connected with God's work, witnessing, uh, according to what Jesus Christ has experienced uh, and he was, he received uh, from the Lord, Luke 4, 18, which says, Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the broken heart and to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering the sight to the blind and to set the liberty uh, them that are bruised. And he received from his father. He came to this world to do a father's business. Now he gives us power, gives you a power. According to Acts 1, 18, you will receive power. Now he gave to the disciples the power that we find in, uh, in the text uh, in Matthew 10, 7 to 8. 12 disciples, they were given this power. He said, yes, said, go uh, to, uh, you know, to the pe people. And it says, heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out devils. So you have received this power. The preachers, you are a preacher as a medical professional. You know, go to the world to preach, teach, baptize, and, uh, you know, and teach them what I have commanded. Now, here in your profession, uh, as Jesus Christ has given uh, this power to the disciples, 12 disciples, heal. Now, this power, according to Acts 1, 8, I will just connect with that. Ye shall receive power. You have a gift. You have a power of healing. Now, that comes from God. You will be witness in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and uttermost part of the world. Now, this amen, what you have, now I know in the pandemic time, it's difficult for all of us to travel, but in your own sphere, in the hospital or dispensary or clinic, wherever you are, you must have the influence, the light as good song that we heard this morning for the morning uh, uh, song service. May this be a light. Uh, first to the Jerusalem, to the community, because we cannot travel so many places, but at least in the pandemic time, you have the opportunity. One door closes, other door opens. It's a tremendous opportunity to be the light, to share uh, to the community where you are. I, I could think of uh, Loma Linda. They have created uh, such a good atmosphere and uh, the reputation that uh, the small where E.G. White has seen the reason and they established in a place, it is like a desert, but they made it uh, a, a township there, a city, so to say. They, everybody knows about the Loma Linda. Uh, you know, when the health uh, the principles, when they think of 10 years uh, more, those Adventists live together because of the health principles that they have. So that becomes a light. So your place, wherever you are working, in the hospital clinic or wherever is there, that influence, the light uh, that you are going to show that Jesus has given you gift and you share that gift. He does not only have a physical healing, but uh, he says he had the spiritual healing he gave. So you are not only for this physical healing, but the spiritual healing. Sharing the word of God is a Jesus who heals. And it is so important wherever we are, yeah, you are there doing God's work and uh, God will continue to bless you as you make the place a uh, little heaven because the heaven gifted, a uh, given power that is given to you. And we need not to be reluctant to receive. Said, I have given that authority. Go. Uh, I know that Anil, I was just seeing uh, your, uh, your background. I see, I will go. That's what we are emphasizing uh, in, in uh, that's the GC initiative in Southern Asia and all over the world. 
and we know that we need to go. We this is the last, uh, you know, days that we are. Uh, we do not know how it's going to last. Now this pandemic is uh, has come, the coronavirus, and is a great opportunity. I salute uh, you all. You the risk of life, and what you have been doing it. Uh, I, I know is a, God has given you this uh, opportunity for us. What may come with prayerfully, uh, you do it, and God will protect you, and God will take. Excuse me, Pastor. You are muted. All right. I think it is automatic got muted. <laughs> uh, sorry. I hope I have another one minute, then I will complete. So what I was saying that uh, uh, God has given you this power. God has given you this gift. Each one have a different gift. And uh, God, take the opportunity uh, of the gift you have given and the responsibility, the call of God in the medical ministry that you have, wherever you are, make that place uh, an influential place where you shine, you are the light of the world. And this Amen, uh, the community where you are, and God will continue to bless you as you, these three days, you will learn, you will experience, you work together, you're planning that you have to finish the God's work. God will continue to bless you as we pray for these three days, uh, the session that you have, and uh, uh, you will be, have success. Uh, may God give you health and strength and the power, the wisdom, and your ability that you will be able to do and to finish this work through the medical ministry. God bless you again, and our blessing, our prayers are with you that you will start this uh, this three days uh, session with God's uh, glory and for his name you will be uh, there to participate. God bless you once again. Thank you. Thank you Pastor uh, Lakra for the words of encouragement and uh, words of advice and we need your prayers as we continue in this meetings that God will revive the medical uh, and dental community here to carry forward God's work at God's time. Thank you once again for taking your precious time and spending it with us this morning. And God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. <clears throat>